Hi guys, I just wanted to post a quick video for you guys, for you video editors out there um, that are thinking about switching to an iPad um, for video editing or already have an iPad for video editing and still have a desktop or a laptop. I want to warn you guys uh, for something, for some problems I ran into and a workaround for that. When I import my video files through a USB cable from my camera um, and I transfer big files like video files for like four gigabytes or more that I'm not able to play them. I'm going to show you guys this is a clip of five and a half gigabytes and I'm not able to play it. It doesn't work. As you can see it doesn't play it. It doesn't do anything when I uh, play something else like this. It, it's playing. When I go into Luma Fusion and I see the clip, it, it doesn't play either. It doesn't do anything when I want to play this file. I found a workaround for this issue. But you need a desktop computer, a laptop or a tablet with Windows on it in order to do it. And you need iTunes, of course. It probably would work on a wireless drive such as the Western Digital, um, but I don't have that one yet. I'm planning to buy it, but I don't have it yet. so. That's for the future. Let's get into it. How did I fix this? Well, with a laptop with Windows on it or Mac, of course, I imported the uh, video files to my computer. Then I transferred them to my iPad with a cable. And, and as somehow it seems to work that way because I can play it in LumaFusion and I can play it in the files app. So that's my quick solution for you guys. Um, I hope Apple does fix this and I hope LumaFusion can do something about this. Um, I know it's a problem Apple related, but I hope LumaFusion works this out before Apple because if we need to wait for Apple, it will take a while, I think. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope to bring you more videos in the future now that I have an iPad where I can edit on. If you don't have LumaFusion yet, you should download it. It's an amazing piece of software. Um, it does, it's not that expensive. It's cheaper than Premiere Pro. It has better performance than Premiere Pro. And it's just Final Cut Pro X, but then on an iPad. And it's amazing. So guys, that's it for now. See you next time.